In this video, I will compare Blogger versus WordPress and tell you which of these website tools may be best for you and your needs. So if you are looking to build a blog, since that is mostly what Blogger does, and you're considering Blogger and WordPress, then this will be the perfect comparison for you. So I'll compare them in terms of SEO. So if you're looking to create SEO content that ranks on Google and other search engines, which one is best? I'll compare them in terms of pricing and with which one you can have the most customizability and basically just the best one overall. So first let's look at Blogger. Now Blogger is created by Google, which should tell you a lot about the rankings that you may get on Google using Blogger. Obviously, Blogger is going to like when you use their products. So if you use Blogger to create your blog, they will like. Now you can also connect your custom domain. And a really great thing about Blogger is that you can use it completely for free. Now Blogger is also very simple to use. And in my opinion, Blogger is great if you are a beginner. Now WordPress, on the other hand, lets you create some more advanced websites. And it's really good for SEO as well. So in terms of SEO, I think WordPress may be better, but Blogger is better if you are a beginner in terms of SEO. Now with WordPress, you can create a blog, but you can also create newsletters, emails, you can set up normal websites and do a bunch of things with it. But we will focus on the blog creation aspect of WordPress in this video. So here, if you click pick a design, you can go and create your account for free. And then you will see their themes and they have some pretty good free themes. So as you can see, they will help you with SEO, finding your audience, taking it to social media and get paid for what you made. Now in terms of pricing for WordPress, WordPress is not free, but you will be able to get started with just the personal plan here. And if you pay monthly right here, you can see it's nine euros per month. If you pay every three years, then it's only two euros 75 cents. So it could be really cheap but if you pay monthly, it's nine euros. Now you will see if you get a yearly plan, you will also get access to a free domain for one year. So that may be worth it. Now with this plan, this is perfect for just creating a blog. So you can use it for as low as two euros and 75 cents per month, which for many people is not a huge deal. But if you are looking for a completely free option, then Blogger will be the winner in this comparison. If you have some money to invest and you maybe have a little bit more experience with building websites and blogging, then I would go with WordPress since they have better themes in my opinion and you have some more customization options. So if you're a beginner and you're looking for a free and really easy to use option, then I would go with Blogger. If you are a little bit more experienced, you maybe have created a website in the past or even have done some blogging, or maybe you just know how to do SEO, then I would go with WordPress since it also allows you to create more advanced customizations. So that concludes this comparison of Blogger versus WordPress. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.